Hey, this is Adam from Figmatic, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your Figma slide deck designs uh, from Figma to PowerPoint, uh, to a PowerPoint file, I should say. Uh, so to do that, we need to install a plugin called Pitch Deck, and if you haven't already done that, you can do it by clicking on the top left uh, Figma icon in the toolbar uh, up here. And if you go to Community or Plugins and search for the term Pitch Deck, so that's P I T. C-H-D-E-C-K and if you search for that you'll see a result called Pitch Deck Presentation Studio pop up and uh, I've already got it installed and that's why I've got this little check mark here and it says installed but if you don't uh, this button on the right hand side will say install and if you click on that it'll change to look like mine and once it does you'll be ready to go. So now we can switch back into our Figma project uh, today I'm just using a Figma file that I designed as a, a slide deck for Deodorams 10 Principles for Good Design. Uh, it's a deck with 11 designs and essentially I want to take these slides out of Figma and I want to create a uh, PowerPoint presentation um, that I can use in Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, so to do that we can run the plugin we just installed. So if you right click anywhere and go to Plugins and then go down to Pitch Deck Presentation Studio and click on that. Uh, that is just going to fire up the plugin we just installed, the Pitch Deck plugin. And once it loads, uh, you'll be able to see all of the frames from your Figma file. All of these frames on the left here will get translated into slides uh, inside of the Pitch Deck plugin. So it's currently looking through all the frames, looking through all the layers, the text layers and image layers, and it's constructing them into uh, slides that we'll be able to use uh, in just a moment. So now that it's loaded all of our slides, you can see here that uh, the slides have been mirrored to our designs. So if we click through here, you can see we've got all of our slides as we'd expect from our designs above. And in the left hand side, you can see that we've got a list of all of our layers and those are being mirrored from the Figma layers in the Figma layers panel on the left here. Uh, so you can see here we've got intro, principle one, principle two, and that's intro, principle one, principle two. But you'll notice that the layer order has been uh, exactly reversed. And the reason for that is, uh, maybe this is just me, but when I'm designing things in Figma and when I was designing this presentation, I would design uh, this slide for example and when I was happy with that I would copy paste that slide or that frame and Figma would put it right next to it and then I could just edit the content and keep the, the layer pretty much as it is. Um, but Figma when you paste essentially layers each layer on top of each other uh, in a reverse order so whenever you paste something the layer will be moved to the top of the layers, the layers uh, order in the, the left hand side here. So what Pitch Deck does is it automatically reverses those layers by default and assumes that you've been copy pasting your frames. Um, so that means that the order is actually going from bottom to top uh, in terms of this layer order here. And that's why we've got the correct order that we'd expect here. Um, however, if that doesn't suit you, what you can do is you can reorder these frames by clicking and dragging on the little drag icons next to any of the slides in the Pitch Deck plugin. So all I did there was just hover over the icon and then I'll get a little grabbing icon. If I click that, holding the mouse and then move it up or down, I can rearrange these frames super easily. And that does not impact anything that's going on in the Figma file. This is just uh, related to the plugin. So editing this layer order here won't mess up your designs or uh, change anything in the original design. It'll just tell Pitch Deck that this is the order that you want these frames in. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as is and keep the intro where it should be. Uh, and so the other thing you'll notice is this little preview section here. So this is an exact one for one with our slides and what, what it's going to look like when it gets exported. Uh, the title's up here. The other thing to note is underneath the preview, we've got this speaker notes section. And so this uh, it's just a text field, a text area, and you can type in any content that you want there. So you can put bullet points in there, you can put a little paragraph like this one, uh, you can just put a little sentence or just a note for yourself, 
And these are the notes that will not be shown to the audience or won't be shown inside of the presentation content. These are just for you as a speaker or whoever's presenting this presentation. Uh, so if you need to add them, you can add different notes to every slide and those will be available to you once we export this presentation uh, very shortly. Okay, so now that I'm pretty happy with uh, the speaker notes, I'm happy with the ordering, uh, you'll notice here that we've got these animations set on all of the layers. So by default, those are set to no animation. So you can see here, we've got this no animation setting. Um, those are all defaulted to no animation, but I've already applied some animations which get saved uh, between opening the plugin. Um, however, for this particular tutorial, because we're gonna be exporting to a PowerPoint file, uh, these animations unfortunately don't get brought across into PowerPoint. Uh, these are primarily used for if you're uploading the presentation to the pitch deck URL. So we can see here if we open up the export formats uh, just in the top menu bar here by clicking on the select box, we've got two groups. We've got animated uh, and underneath that is the pitch deck URL uh, option which we've got selected by default. And then we've got static format. So we've got PDF file, PowerPoint file, Keynote file. So uh, that means that because it's static, all of these animation settings do not get carried over to any of these static formats. They'll only be uh, carried over to the pitch deck URL format. Uh, so that's just worth keeping in mind in case you're wondering uh, why you've animated these things, but you're not getting animations in your PDF file or PowerPoint or Keynote. Uh, these are just not supported uh, in those formats because we're using very specific and custom animations that will only work in a web-based environment like the Pitch Deck one. Um, so if you do want to see how that works, I've got another tutorial up on the Figmatic YouTube channel and you can get a really deep dive. Um, it goes for about 30 minutes and goes through all of the details you need to know about animations and takes you through the upload process and shows you what a presentation actually looks like. Um, when you do that option. But for today, we just wanna go from Figma to PowerPoint. So in this case, I'm just going to open up that options panel, go down to the PowerPoint file option and click on that. And when I select that, you'll see that it's changed up here and it's also changed my button to say export PowerPoint. Um, so because I'm ready to go and Figma's looking really good, the design from Figma's looking really good, uh, I want to get it out of Figma and into PowerPoint. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on export PowerPoint. And what this is going to do is it's going to generate uh, slides for a PowerPoint file. That's a native PowerPoint file that's going to come out of Figma in just a moment. Uh, so it's going to take all of our Figma designs and uh, put them into a PowerPoint presentation. So you can see here, it's just prompted me to save uh, a file. So I'm just going to save that to the desktop. By default, it just names it whatever your Figma file, um, Figma document is called. You can obviously change that if you want to, so I can just rename that. And you can see here, it's just, just changed it for me um, to, to look like the way I want. Uh, so I'm just gonna click save. And yeah, as you can see here, it's just confirming that our PowerPoint file uh, is ready and we're able to open this in either PowerPoint, Google Slides or Apple Keynote um, or just share it with somebody. So now that that's been saved, I can open up Finder and go to my desktop and you can see right here I've got uh, my PowerPoint file uh, which I can double click. So I don't have Microsoft PowerPoint on my computer but I do have Apple Keynote and this PowerPoint file will open up in that just fine as well. So there we go, that's Apple Keynote running now and you can see here we've got all of our slides directly from Figma and that's uh, that's all of them as we'd expect. Uh, so we've got our background colors set to white. Uh, we could obviously change that in here if we want to and you can see all of the other elements still say the same. Uh, I'll set that back to white. Uh, we can move around our layers if we'd like. Uh, and the other neat thing is if we go to uh, open up our presentation notes. If you just go to view and then go to show presenter notes, this might be different in PowerPoint. Um, but if I click on that, you can see here that the text that we added in uh, Figma has been carried over into our speaker notes. And so I can edit those if I want to. 
or I can get rid of some of them uh, and remove those. But that's all been loaded in. Um, so that's really neat. The other thing we can do is, uh, because these are just images, we can uh, add effects to them if we like. Uh, we can change opacities to all the, the normal stuff you'd want. Uh, add animations. Um, so we could add a blur effect there and that would work. Um, so all of the layers from uh, Figma have essentially been imported one for one uh, into a PowerPoint file. So you could open this up in Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, as I said, I'm just using Keynote at the moment to give you an idea of it, but uh, this is a PowerPoint file that will open in PowerPoint, Keynote, or Google Slides if you prefer. Um, okay, so that's that's all there is to it. It's it's very straightforward. As you as you saw, it only took you know maybe five to ten seconds to export it uh, from Figma uh, to PowerPoint. So it's very very quick. I'm just going to close it off now. Um, but yeah, if you need to make changes to it, you can uh, you can either make those changes in PowerPoint, or if you prefer to leave Figma as your source of truth, uh, you can just make your updates in the project file and rerun pitch deck, uh, which you can do just by going over to the right hand side here under plugin and clicking on the pitch deck uh, little pancake icon, and that will rerun the plugin. And you can just keep exporting it to PowerPoint uh, from Figma as many times as you want. Uh, it's, it's just going to keep doing it as many times as you need to. Uh, so that way you can keep Figma as your source of truth uh, for your slides and your design and your components uh, and just keep exporting it from Figma to PowerPoint uh, as needed. So yeah, I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering uh, how to get your slides uh, out of Figma uh, into something like PowerPoint, uh, this is the way that you can you can go about doing that. Uh, and yeah, I hope that it helps you or your team with uh, something that you're working on or yeah, if you've been trying to solve this problem uh, for yourself. So thank you as always for watching and we'll be back very soon with uh, more tutorials uh, for you to check out.